All right, so today's the day. Uh, I'm here in front of my 92 GMC box truck that I've converted to a tiny home. Um, I'll show you the inside later. But we have gotten this cubic mini wood stove. Um, we made a DIY uh, flue from Home Depot. This is a ducting vent and this is an exit as well because a lot of the ones you see online um, they're not meant to be moving in a vehicle. So this is a lot more aerodynamic, we're hoping. But the first thing you have to do before using it inside is fire it and run it for about an hour. So we're gonna be doing our first lighting. We're super excited, we're a little scared. Um, we're in an industrial area. We've got a fire extinguisher, some fuel. Uh, so we're gonna light this up and see how it goes and do our first burn. And I think technically I could do it on the tailgate of my truck, but I don't think the back of it would like it. Um, but here it is, it's just the cubic mini. Uh, it was about 600 bucks Canadian, brand new, never been used. And like I said, here's a bit of a close up of the duct work. I, it is a three inch opening. Unfortunately, a three inch duct is too small. There is one inside. I kind of crammed it to fit. So it's double walled, but this is a four inch pipe that I've used. Uh, I'm gonna quickly secure it a bit better. And we've got the exit that also acts as a spark raster. But yeah, we're gonna load this up, set it down and give it a first burn. So we've got a little fire starter. Uh, I show you how to make those in another video. I'll put the link in there. Uh, fire extinguisher, fuel, just a Home Depot bucket and some general stuff. And uh, this is some free pallet wood, the little bottoms. Again, I have a video on how to source free pallet wood. Here's some sticks and this is just the inside. So like I said, a uh, three inch tube inside, didn't quite cover it. So we're doing this just a double wall for safety. We're gonna put this over, clamp it and light it up. All right, so we're just gonna load it up. And like I said, this is the bottom of a pallet. It's all pressed block wood. Make sure it's heat treated. I also have a video, as I said. So we'll plug that in, that's plenty. And then we'll put some sticks in. I don't know what the fuck that was. We're just going around with an air horn. Okay. Just trying to get it started, nothing crazy. And then we've got our DIY fire starters. Just petroleum jelly and cotton balls. Again, I'll show you how to make these in another video, but they're sticky. So literally jam it on and should be ready to go. And hopefully that catches enough to burn. Give it a bit more kindling. And we're gonna close the door. Hopefully it catches. Open the flue a little bit. So we added a bit more kindling, just need a little bit of help, but it's starting to go now. And then our little chimney is working. See the smoke coming out. I don't see any leaks just yet. All right, starting to puff along a little bit. As I said, there's a, a spark arrestor in there just for making sure that nothing flies out. All right, so it's going pretty nicely right now. Gotta get a little flame. The bigger stuff is catching and things are hopefully gonna start to heat up a little bit. We should see this start to smoke just so we can get rid of that paint. Like I said, the whole process of this is just to cure it. It's supposed to take about an hour. Once it gets to high heat, we're almost there. So it's been about 15 minutes. It's going pretty hot. I don't know if the camera can quite pick it up, but there is a little bit of smoke coming off. There's a little bit of a smell. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, it's blackened over. You can't see it quite. It's very subtle, but there is smoke coming off this. There's kind of a just metallic, painty smell. It's not super pleasant. Um, definitely wouldn't want it indoors, though. I'm glad I'm doing this outside. And the pipe is holding up pretty well. I don't see any hot spots. Uh, I wish I had one of those temperature guns. Obviously, you can see it's tilted. The final install, this will be going through the roof. It'll be supported by a bracket. But uh, yeah, about 40 minutes left to go.
And if you're curious, obviously this is the controls the air intake. It's kind of hard to see, but more or less. And then the bottom, this, you might not know what it is. It is the secondary burn. So what it does is allows more oxygen coming in from the bottom, which burns up the gases, which makes it burns hotter. And also the smoke is going to be a lot cleaner and that's adjustable. And me and Ma were here, we might as well have a little van life coffee. Doesn't quite sit. Um, you can remove this guard by the way, but I want to include it with the burn. So we'll see how long that takes the boil. So those little pallet blocks are burning perfectly. If it holds, has a hole in the middle, that's even better because it just gives a nice bit of airflow, but that's gonna burn nice and slow. Um, we've gone through almost all our tinder because it just burns so fast. But we have this nice block, which is gonna give us a good amount of sustained heat. Obviously there's not a ton of room. There's another one in there that's been burning since the start. So just be careful with your space management because this thing is only about six by six inches on the inside. All right, unfortunately, because of the gap, uh, it's not hot enough to get the coffee going, so we have to cheat and use our little kettle and boil it on the inside, but you know what? We've been working hard. We deserve a coffee. Okay, so we've been burning about an hour and a half. Uh, we're gonna let it burn out what it has and then just let it cool down, which will probably take another hour. We've got our coffee. We're gonna go back inside with the door up so we can just monitor it. So we're just gonna chill, enjoy our coffee, and we'll see you when we're done. One hour later. All right, we've got it on the back of our truck. Um, it's still fairly warm to the touch. You know, I wouldn't want to grab onto it. I use my coat, um, but I'm glad I kept the guardrails on because they act as good handles because they don't quite get as hot. Uh, make sure there's nothing still burning, just some ashes that will clear out once they fully cool down. Um, this, while warm, I can hold on to it. So that worked pretty well. Um, it is, for the most part, cooled down. We've got Rockwell, which we use to insulate our vehicle. Uh, it's made from rocks. It's fire resistant quite high, so we're pretty confident leaving that there. There's no smoke coming out, so we're getting ready to roll. And as much hanging out as I do in parking lots in van life, I really don't want to be in this one anymore, longer than I have to. So we're loading this up, ready to roll. Um, thanks for watching. I am excited for the next step, which is actually installing this thing. Uh, it's going to get real cold real fast in Canada. I live in Nova Scotia right now, but we're heading to the mountains for the winter. So fingers crossed we can get this ready to roll. So when it gets really, really cold, we can enjoy the heat of all this. So um, thanks for watching. Have a great day.